Hey, I'm Cameron Hurst, and in this video, I'm going to show you my 753 max strength hangboard workout. This is a simple but effective method for developing high end finger strength. This workout consists of doing a series of three hang sets on a comfortable hold that is slightly less than one finger pad in depth. For most people, a 20 millimeter edge is just about the perfect size. Before you start training, be sure to do a thorough warm up of your fingers, arms, and shoulders. Next, you will need to determine the proper training weight for the 753 Max Hang Protocol. The best way to do this is to determine the maximum amount of weight you can add to your body for a 10 second hang. I recommend adding weight onto a loading pin that is then clipped onto the belay loop of your harness. Although, you could wear a weight belt or vest. Okay, now for some training. Begin with your first seven second weighted hang. Use either a half crimp or an open crimp grip and be sure to maintain engaged shoulders. After the seven second hang, rest for exactly 53 seconds before doing the next seven second hang. Again, rest for 53 seconds, during which time you can shake out, massage your forearms, and chalk up. Then, do the third seven second hang. Doing these three hangs makes for one set. Now rest for at least three minutes before doing another set. A typical 753 max strength hangboard workout consists of doing three to five sets of these hangs. If you are new to this type of training, then I recommend just doing three sets, whereas those who are more experienced at hangboard training can do up to five sets. You can do this workout up to two days per week. On a side note, I strongly encourage you to keep a training notebook with all the details of your workout. Record the weight added for your hangs, the number of sets performed, and how you felt during the workout. As you gain strength over the weeks and months, you will need to increase the amount of weight added for the hangs. As a rule, it is time to increase the weight if the last set of the hangs does not take maximum effort. Once the weight added exceeds about 50% of your body weight, I recommend you graduate to training the one arm hang technique, which I will show you in part two of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notification of new releases. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, climb strong.